In trying to lose weight, the biggest dietary mistake that people make is that they have too much fruit way too often. But wait, fruit, is that actually bad for you? Let me break it down for you scientifically. Now I know that many of the viewers will be really shocked by this video because we've grown up with the mentality that fruits are actually good for us. This is how most of our parents think. Is that a chocolate? Put it down right now. Oh, you're having fruits? No problem, beta. Our parents shout at us if we eat chocolates, but fruits? No way, that's okay, that's a diet food, right? Fruits being a diet food is an idea that's hardwired in our brains all our lives. All our lives we've been told that fruits are good and healthy for you, even if you want to lose weight. Also, fruits are goddamn delicious. So if some dude on the internet tells you that fruits aren't good for you, obviously you wouldn't want to believe it. You still want to keep having that delicious food, right? But you guys need to understand one thing. I personally have nothing against fruits. They're a part of my diet. But that's because my long-term fitness goal is not weight loss. My long-term fitness goal is to just be healthy. I've already undergone that whole weight loss process. Fruits give you two very important things and that's why they're a part of my diet. Fruits give me vitamins and minerals and fruits give me fiber. But the downside of fruits is that they contain a lot of sugar. I can afford to eat them because I work out so much and my overall calorie cap is really high compared to the average person who doesn't work out. But if your goal is weight loss and you're a beginner in the gym or in overall fitness generally, fruits shouldn't ideally be in your diet. Now I know a bunch of you viewers will be like, aren't fruit sugars actually good for you? Aren't they healthy sugars? I've personally never understood this term healthy sugars. When you break them down to their core, all sugars are basically the same. There's no difference between a molecule of sugar in fruit or a molecule of sugar in normal table sugar that we use in desserts. The only way in which fruit sugars can be called healthy sugars is because along with the unhealthy sugar, the healthy constituents are vitamins, minerals and fiber. Things that your bodies actually need and use unlike sugar. There's another bad piece of news for all you fruit lovers. There's no single vitamin or mineral that you get from fruits that you don't get from vegetables. In fact, all the nutrition inside vegetables is super concentrated. So you're actually getting a lot more nutrition from vegetables than you are getting from fruits. And the other downside of fruits obviously is that they contain sugar. So if your goal is fat loss, you need to chuck all those fruits out the window and stick to those vegetables. If your fitness goal is fat loss, sugar is your biggest enemy. I speak about this in all my videos. In my weight loss challenge video, I've challenged you guys to cut off sugar for 40 days. This includes sugar from fruits. So no fruits, jaggery, honey for 40 days and you're guaranteed a weight loss of 3 to 8 kgs. The reason sugar is actually associated with deposition of fat in your body is because too much sugar causes insulin spikes in your bloodstream and too many insulin spikes make you fat. To understand this better, go check out my video on carbohydrate education. I'm not going to get into the deep science of it, but this is basically what you need to know about sugar and fat deposition. So every time you have sugar, there's so much energy packed inside that one molecule of sugar that your body, when it breaks it down, it doesn't know what to do with all that energy. So it goes, okay, shit, there's so much energy, I'll store it as fat and I'll use it for later. That's essentially how people get fat every time you have a sugar spike in your bloodstream. But remember, Beer Biceps is a fitness and food channel. I believe in enjoying your food. So if you really enjoy fruits and you think you can't cut it out, the best time to have fruits, remember, is always after a workout. That's because after a workout, your body is so depleted of resources that it can utilize all that energy from that one molecule of sugar. So if you can't live without fruits, the only time you should be having fruits, if your goal is fat loss, is immediately after exercising. So within half an hour or one hour. But keep in mind, even at this time, you shouldn't go overboard with your fruit consumption. So the way to go is to have small portions of fruit. And if you're gonna be having fruits every day, I'd suggest you vary the types of fruits you eat because different kinds of fruits give you different nutrition. Now the term GI load is actually associated with fruits. So the higher the GI load, the worse the fruit is in terms of fat deposition. So if your goal is fat loss, you need to know these GI loads really well and avoid the foods with the higher GI loads. That's all you need to know for now. So to summarize, if you're trying to lose weight, you have to have small portions of fruits only after a workout. Ideally, they should be low in terms of GI load and you should be having different fruits every single day. 
Remember guys, if you're trying to lose weight, you can still have fun in terms of what you eat. So if you want to eat fruits, moderation is the way to go. I guarantee you. If you're trying to lose weight, but you follow all these rules I spoke about, you lose weight and you'll have fun along the way. And above all, you'll be healthy and happy. Hey guys, so that was the video for today. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and remember to subscribe to Beer Biceps. If you want to follow my personal fitness journey, follow me on Instagram at Beer Biceps, on Twitter at Beer Biceps 93 and you can add me on Snapchat at Ranveer.1693. This is my Facebook page, so make sure you give that a like as well. So until next time guys, from Beer Biceps, see you.